What does an old hospital, the backside of Pikes Peak, wild donkeys, and Freddy Krueger all have in common today on Colorado Martini Living? So we're in Cripple Creek and let's see how many times we can say the word ass. Oh, kiss my ass. <laughs> Watch out, it's icy down there. Don't bust your ass. So why do we want to say the word ass so much? Because Cripple Creek's known for its donkeys that are known as burrows. They're known for their ass. They're known for their ass. <laughs> And they're one of our favorite things here in Cripple Creek. And they run, run wild through the town. And we're going to go visit them. Um, but we'll see how many times we can say the word ass <laughs> in our video today. So it has been just a fabulous day here in Cripple Creek. We had a lot of fun exploring all the wonderful history that's in this town. It's hard to believe that 55,000 people lived in this town at one time. The historic town of Cripple Creek, Colorado sits on the southwest slope of Pikes Peak in the beautiful Colorado Rockies. Approximately a hundred years ago, this community attracted tens of thousands of gold seekers. Year round, there's lots to do in Cripple Creek. Everything from exploring the gold mines or riding one of the historic locomotives or even going up to the graveyard and checking out some of the famous graves or even checking out some of its many haunted locations. So we just witnessed a guy in the, what's this, the Colorado Grand Casino hit a $2,000 slot. Pretty cool. Um, also you'll see behind me a, a bus. Um, so you can take a bus up here from Colorado Springs um, and gamble and go back down. Uh, we just ate at Molly's. Um, I had a wonderful hamburger. That was Maggie's, by the way. Oh, was it Maggie's? It was Maggie's. <laughs> Molly Maggie. Molly Maggie. Irish, you know? <laughs> what are you going to do? Um, I had a guacamole burger. It was pretty good. And he had the French dip. And so we recommend it. It was a kind of get away from the casino sound. Um, so, anyways. So, the town is lined up and down with casinos. That's the guy who just won $2,000 and he's like going into another casino. He's going into the Jolly Nolan. Uh, there's the Christmas Casino, which I've heard a lot about. Uh, there's a newer casino on the edge of town. Um, the Brass Ass, of Good course, food. something has yeah. to be just named. Just there, man. Nice. Of course, something needs to be named after uh, the donkeys. So, pretty cool town stop at the Cripple Creek candy store. We always have to stop at the candy store. I just got a chocolate dipped Rice Krispie treat. Oh, doesn't that sound marvelous? I gotta go. I gotta go eat it. You can also get some donkey treats in there. Did you win in the casino? No, I lost my ass. <laughs> this place is cool. <laughs> Told you it was. How cool is this place at night? We just arrived. It's all decorated for the holidays. And it used to be a hospital. It was the county hospital. It's pretty cool. The hospitality house and travel park were so amazing that we decided to do a whole separate video on it. 
So make sure you look out for that. So here's the old jail that's a museum now. We're on Bennett Avenue. Here's the downtown area right here. And then the gold mines, mining happened right above here. And then of course the donkeys that roam the area. Oh, we're gonna go check out the jail museum. It's supposed to be haunted. So the lady at the front desk, I think, was telling us that this was a jail all the way up to the 90s. Ghost Adventures has been here and many other paranormal groups. And it's kind of creepy. See? So they would stack them right on top of each other. There's six hammocks in there. That's crowded. Yeah, we're in here. I'm nine years old. Keep a log of paranormal activity and you're supposed to write in it what you have seen. So the cemetery sits up on the hill above the town. Um, it's absolutely beautiful up here, especially in the winter season like we're here. Mount Pascal. It's very heavily guarded too. We have, a, <laughs> we have used aircraft, Vietnam air helicopter gunship. In case anybody tries to steal body. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're backed by artillery. So one thing you have a really good view of up here is all the gold mining. You can really see the flat tops across the way. That's all the gold mining all up on that ridge. You really have a, a great pers perspective of it up here at the graveyard. So here she is, Doc Susie. Dr. Quinn, medicine woman, was loosely based on her. Um, she was an inspiration to women and a frontier doctor who's very famous here in Colorado. She did most of her work up in Fraser, which is just outside of Winter Park. So she did a lot of work in Winter Park and they wouldn't have survived without her. So Susan Anderson, better known as Doc Susie. She spent a lot of time here in Cripple Creek and she wanted to be buried by her brother who is up on the hill there and she has a monument up there but this is actually her resting place. At the lower day. <laughs> so yeah. on her gravestone it has the dates underneath it says Doctor of Grand Ca County 1909 to 1956. So those are the years that she was a doctor in that area. but And again, that's like the Winter Park area. Um, but she passed in 1960. She was uh, 90 years old. And she died in a, a resting home in Denver. Um, but she served the state for quite a long, long time, as you can see. So, one of the most bizarre selfies I've ever taken next to Freddy Krueger's grave. So you definitely should come up, pay your respects, get the map of some of the famous people, and come visit Doc Susie, an amazing woman. Also make sure when you go to one of uh, the museums that you pick up this guide. Um, it's a guide to the cemetery so you can find what you're looking for, such as um, Doc Susie's two different sites um, that they have marked for her. 
so we're leaving the hotel right now and we're gonna go check out the donkeys um, and they're out on their winter pasture right now uh, but they normally roam the town um, so we're gonna go check those out and let me show you how to get to them and if you're here uh, between October and May um, is when they're out in their winter pasture so when mining used to go on here they used to use the donkeys down in the mines. They would take them down and they would bring out all the ore on their backs. But when mining ended, the donkeys were kind of left behind and became wild and ran through the town. And now the donkey herd is taken care of by the city. Or I should say the people of Cripple Creek and they roam the town all through season which is may through october and they just run wild through the town and the people take care of them there you can find them anywhere um, in the town or between here and victor and in the winter months they spend time here so the cripple creek donkey wait a minute so you're trying to tell me half the year people around this town just let their asses hang out <laughs> yes they let their asses hang out i knew i liked this place <laughs> <laughs> so what is the difference between a donkey and a burro well there really isn't a difference basically a donkey is a domesticated animal where a burro is a donkey that's used as a beast of burden like they were used here in Cripple Creek. Look at, they're lining up. They're lining up for pets. for pets. Ear rubs. <laughs> Ear rubs. Two for a dollar. Get the back in line, buddy. Like he's getting in line too. Okay, so. Ear, ears. <laughs> I get the best ear rubs. Okay, so this is how donkeys party. Uh, they're out partying, getting ear rubs, and they're and it's quite a popular thing. They're lining up. <laughs> this one's really loving up. Up. Uh. Okay, next. Okay, next. <laughs> Come on, boy. Come. He doesn't get the whole line idea, does he? I'm just here for that. He thought they were line dancing. I'm just here for like, a piece of ass. Like now he's rubbing his ears on the post. <laughs> Oh, there we go. There we go. Your turn. Right. <laughs> there we go. The line's getting long. <laughs> it's starting to loop around. He's in the snow. <laughs> Pretty funny. Hog talking sweet brings him in. So Mr. Martini's making sure he can make every ass joke he can. <laughs> He's... This, he's got his morning ass. He got to touch some ass. I pet some ass. I slap some ass. I rub some ass. And here comes a new piece of ass. <laughs> or you the great ass, huh? Oh, come here, baby. That's a big ass. That is a big ass. But it's a sweet ass, so we'll leave it alone. <laughs> Like your ears rubbed. I have a dog like you at home. So why is a donkey called an ass? Well, it's just really a derivative from its scientific name in Latin. But a male donkey is called a jackass. And a female donkey is called a jenny ass. And over time, the ass portion was removed. So what is a mule? A mule is basically a cross of a horse and a donkey. So the hotel we're staying in is on the end of B Street. And you're going to go all the way down B Street to Masonic. And you're going to turn right. And then you're going to turn left on C Street and you're going to see a dirt road and there'll be signs saying public works and you're going to go down this dirt road and the donkeys are out in the pasture here again they're only here between october and may 
Otherwise, they roam the town, and sometimes they even make their way over to Victor. So this is the business district area of Cri Cripple Creek. So just west of the town is where you're going to um, find the donkeys. I think I met his grandson. So we're gonna go check out the Heritage Center. It has a beautiful view from up here. Um, it's on Highway 67, just above the town. So let's go take a look inside. So from up here at the Heritage Center, you can see all sorts of traces of the mining that went on here. Wonderful views from the Heritage Center, looking down at the town, which is right here. Um, so you should definitely come here and check it out. It's a wonderful historical museum. <laughs> so if you come to the Heritage Center, you can get some feed for the donkeys and leave a nice donation to help support the donkeys. And that's at the Heritage Center. Right across the street from the Heritage Center, um, you can take a mine tour, um, but always check the hours, such as we showed up and they're closed, unfortunately. Stay out of my mind. So one of the um, tips that I have when you come to Cripple Creek is to come out to the Flora Scent National Monument. It's only 14 miles from Cripple Creek, so it's a perfect day trip. And they have 15 miles of hiking trails, not to mention giant redwood fossilized stumps. They're huge and they're amazing. And it's a simple drive down the road. The Floreset National Park was amazing that we decided to do a whole nother video on that also. So make sure you take a look. So Cripple Creek is pretty high up. It's almost 9,500 feet above sea level. Um, so it's very, very important that you take it easy and you don't exert yourself. And also watch out for your animals. They can get altitude sickness also. Make sure they have plenty of water and don't overexert them. When you come here, also make sure that you visit all the great museums. There's actually several. There's actually a museum all about the ladies of the night and it's the only one in the entire nation. Also make sure that you check out the downtown area, the casinos, is really where all the food is. So if you're coming up here and you have a restricted diet like I do, I'm gluten free, make sure you bring some food with you. Even so, still bring some food. There's no convenience stores and I'm still looking for that market that somebody told me was here. So I highly recommend you bring a cooler of food, some crackers and cheese, whatever fits the bill. We also were really glad that we brought a couple of bottles of wine with us too. That way we could sit on the veranda and have a nice glass of, of wine. It was absolutely marvelous to sit there and read a book on the veranda of this hotel. Hey guys, do you need a ride? <laughs> we're going back to like um, civilization. <laughs> So one of the tips I have um, when you come to Cripple, one of the tips I have when you come to Cripple Creek is come out to the floor. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> Take two. Look who's asleep. What a lazy ass. It sounds like what? Make sure to check out the links in the description. They help support this channel. And thank you so much for coming by. You have no idea how much we appreciate it.